welcome to a very sunny Lincolnshire. We're out um, just wrapping up a series of videos that we've uh, started doing last uh, last winter on the Louth to Grimsby railway line, the old East Lincolnshire railway that was run by um, the Great Northern Railway back in the day. So the weather when we started that first video in Louthien couldn't have been more different. Well, yeah. I remember we had so many layers on. We had yeah, big coats, gloves, hats. The middle of winter, wasn't it? Uh, but it was, it wasn't. It was a really bright day, yeah. perfect crisp yeah, winter well, day. Blue sky day, wasn't it? But it was but just so bloody cold, wasn't it? Today is the opposite. It's still sunny, but it's 25 degrees today. Yeah, we've had to trouser up. The, uh, the footpath's not been too kind to bare legs so far. But we've been following the course of the railway from Louth, as I was saying. That first episode, it went as far as Haltonley Clay. It is Haltonley Clay, isn't it? I've got that right today, Jim. Yeah, that's right, yeah. <laughs> We're winning. Um, and we've just been out and filmed another section of this line between Louth and Grimsby and that's the section that's now a heritage railway. We've been and had a ride and a look around at the Lincolnshire Walls Railway. And for this final bit we're wrapping up, I'm going to be having a look, um, walk down and talking about the line. Um, well, we're, we're going to confuse you because we're starting in the opposite direction. So from the Grimsby end, we've started from Waltham down to Halton Le Clay, where we left you last time. I hope you're following this. I hope I've explained that in a roundabout way. We'll start today's story at Grimsby Town Station, still in use today on the line to Cleethorpes. It's just to the east of the station that our East Lincolnshire Railway branched off at Garden Street Junction, the site of a wonderful Garden Street signal box at Level Crossing just before the junction. We can also see here the triangle from Pasture Street Junction, where trains from the Louth direction could access Grimsby Docks and the short run to Cleethorpes. Not much is left of the line in the centre of Grimsby, but just by Garden Street Junction can be found this series of beautiful old bridge abutments either side of the road. In the 1990s, the route of the old line was turned into a main trunk road into Grimsby, the A16 Peaks Parkway. It's all but obliterated any obvious trace of the railway, other than it being a suspiciously long, straight road to drive down. There's the odd quirky feature like this underpass. There were two stations, or should I say halts, on this section of line, Hainton Street Halt and Wheelsby Halt. The site of Hainton Street Halt is now just a crossroads, similarly at Wheelsby Road. Now you'll know my videos aren't just walkthroughs of Google Maps and old photos. I like to get on the ground in and amongst the nettles and painful looking vegetation. So I'll hand over to Waltham where me and Jim will start the explore of the rest of this section of the line from the entrance of the old station. It's going off in front there. That's the track bed up to uh, towards Grimsby. But we're heading, we're heading south, uh, southbound on this leg of the journey. So, so yeah this is Waltham. Upon opening in 1848 it was also known as Waltham and Humberston. It closed in 1981 but there is very little left of the station now. The old station house was demolished in 2009 and rebuilt on the old footprint. As with a lot of stations on this line the platforms were staggered either side of the level crossing. This old photo looking south is taken from approximately the same location that we've just entered through this gate. Uh, one of the joys uh, of disused railways, coming down Nettlefield Pass and Brambles, we've just had to wade our way through. Right, we're on the lookout, or we're on the hunt for the old Waltham station. Um, you say that's the old track bed on his right hand side? Jim, is that the station? Here. Yeah. And that is uh, yeah. that station house. Ah, okay. Not the first one on the left, the one behind it. Yeah. That station house there. Yeah. So we're walking on, apparently, on one of the platforms at the moment. You are? It's uh, hard to make that conclusion if you wasn't having local knowledge, but. Ah, joy. Ow. So that 
Well, you, you can see, it's just so odd. There's not much space to move in here. You can see, you can see stones there, look. So that's, you say that's, he's gone, Jim's disappeared. I'm just saying, that's the edge. That's the uh, the platform stones. I don't know if it's the edgings. Might just be the, uh, you can definitely see them underneath. Now this is one of Jim's photos taken from autumn 2022 and as you can see those stones are quite a bit more visible than on the day of our visit. Yeah this isn't a very well trodden path at all. Thistles are taller than me. Railings or something aren't they? Or supports from something embedded in a concrete base. Just a reminder we are on a um, on the railway, we've got a fence post there. I'd have never noticed that Jim if you weren't here. <laughs> You'd have gone swept past it, wouldn't you? It's just literally just it's just at the end of the old Waltham station here. And you'll walk straight past it. It's just it's just completely taken over by the trees now, but you'll notice a ladder going up into the trees. It's going to be hard to show you just how tall this signal is because we're struggling to see where we can get a good shot of it. But if we come around this side, there's the base. Still got some of its white paint on there, hasn't it? Oh, can you can you see the top there? I can't. It's a big one. Ah, it's resting my head, I didn't even notice. That's the tensioner cable. Just coming past there. So we're probably going to have some tensioners somewhere in here, aren't we? Just have another look at this signal. We've got, we've got some brackets semi-attached to it if we have another look at that map of Waltham station just to the south of Waltham station is SP signal post I'm thinking that this is the signal noted on this map I couldn't believe it the first time I came across it Can you see the top there yeah is that coming out okay on film doesn't resemble much of a track bed now, does it? You wouldn't really know it was a, an old railway line just from this narrow passage through the, through the trees. Got some gate posts here. Nothing we haven't seen before on this uh, stretch of line, is it? Plenty of gate posts. Come to show me something in the trees. Have a look at that. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so one of those, is that one of those signs we were looking at down at Ludborough Station? Yeah, yeah it's a Great Northern Railway warning sign. It's just, this is a public footpath. Keep so. off the tracks. Yeah. Other than right. So you, you, you're being you're being warned to make sure to look for trains. There used to be a, a crossing gate here for pa passengers. You know, a footpath. Crossing gate. So just here's the footpath going over the line here. And also just at the side. That's a bit of a obstacle course getting into it we've got I don't know what those are called they used to keep coal I believe reinforced concrete um, storage area isn't it so as we plow on through the undergrowth just a quick really quick recap on the on the history of the facts um, of this railway line so 1849 it was 1849, Jim, this opened, I think, yeah. roughly. Really? Yeah, 1849. Corey, if it was 1848, 1849. And it closed to passengers in 1970 um, with a little bit of resistance from the locals, but it ultimately fully closed in 1980. And British Rail very quickly set about demolishing what they could just to try and prevent, um, prevent any phoenix rising from the old from the old railway another old relic just coming into view in front there don't know if you can make it out yet a 
another I mean it's just so it's so great to see a lot of these still standing along the course of this line I've lost count of how many of these that we have seen so many examples of these old signal posts like this one on the Lincolnshire Wolds Railway uh, there's this one that we saw just on the outskirts of Blouth and then a couple around the Holton Le Clay area and of course this beautiful old gantry near Utterby Holt why why are they so tall i don't know because it's not like they've, they've, they've got, no. got hills it's i'd say it's good visibility is it is yeah. it oh, yeah yeah but they're always so bloody tall do you reckon that's as tall as that one we've just been looking at in the woods not quite you don't but, think uh, but i think it's pretty close to it yeah it's a lot more uh, substantial than that i've just seen there's a, a a date print on it i'm not gonna be able to get any closer look at this <laughs> I can assure you there's a date stamp on that signal there. It says LNER, the 17th of the 6th, 1927. Uh, so that, that signal's coming up in a couple of years to its 100th birthday. Yeah. So we're not far off Holt and the Clay now. This is the most like a disused railway line that we've encountered on this little, uh, little section that we're walking today, Jim. It's widened out, hasn't it? Yeah, it has, yeah. I think there was like a, either a loop or sidings here. Because this is the, what we've walked down is the actual line. So yeah. It was a single track line. Uh, and then this opens up here. So I think there was a siding here. All right. I think we've reached a dead end as far as we can walk down the track bed now, haven't we? Yep. So, yeah. There not... is a signal, I'm reliably informed in there and you can sometimes see it in the middle of winter okay it all grows back so I'll, i will come up here sometime in february and have a really good look see if i can find it we're here at the wrong time of year aren't we well this is yeah this, we haven't done too bad to be fair no you know apart from the initial bit where we got stung to death but uh you know this is definitely unpassable we do normally i, I do do things like this i prefer doing them in winter but which is why we did that first section in winter coming yeah. in little balls um but because we have had to come to see the uh, the railway working, um, it's a bit of a, you know, we just kind of lumped this on. Um, just have a look down here while we're here. It's nice open open fields because we've just been entirely enclosed for the entirety of this walk. It's a lovely open countryside. It's nice to be out of the uh, six foot high net nettles and thistles. I wonder if these are. Uh, original steps Jim very possibly yeah so all oh, right and warning warning post with no sign no it's gone somebody's had it yeah it'd be in someone's living room that yeah. won't it good on them I know we previously visited the old station at Halton the Clay however there was for a period a more minor central station in the village the Halton village halt up until 2009, you could still see evidence of the crossing posts and gates, and the station house is still present. Fast forward to 2023, the gate posts have disappeared and houses have appeared on the alignment of the track bed both sides of the road. It's now not possible to follow the line through the village. We're still in Halton Le Clay at the moment. We're foraging around the track bed through Halton Le Clay isn't um, accessible. It's uh, been built on and overgrown. Can get a little bit of a glimpse of the trap bed um, just to the south, uh, south of the village. Another one of them stunning little big sign, isn't it? Yeah. Great Northern Road. Somebody's had, somebody's had half of it. It's a shame it's not all there, isn't yeah. it? Well, that's the trap bed down there, which is now at the moment covered in stuff. Down, see what we can see. I'm assuming that's 1898 by order. Excellent. So I didn't realise actually. Yeah, it's in it. The line's in a cutting down there, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Excellent. So we'll go and see uh, what we can see down on the track bed, and I think that's uh, that's going to be it. The Holton Le Clay station, which is just that way, not far that way, is where we ended the last um, video, the episode one. Right, so this is the track bed then. Yeah. 
Is well, it? Not, I've been here in winter and it's, ab it's been absolutely clear. <laughs> and you're not getting down there, no, are you? No, but well, you, you can literally just go to the end there. It's all blocked off. Mm. And this is the same here, but there are little sections of it that you can get onto. Oh, wow. Yeah. I can see right in the distance there at the top end of this field I can see the old station building where we did close out part one there's lots there wasn't there Alton and Clay station there certainly was yeah, the old platform there and that. I hope you've enjoyed these series of visits to Lincoln I know I surely have this this was a railway that was been on my radar um, since I started um, taking an interest in disused railways doing these videos so it's been great to come and have a look and it's not disappointed all the old signals uh, yeah. And I know today yeah. wasn't as jam-packed, uh, that section of the line wasn't as jam-packed with the first section from Louth, but it's always good to come across yeah. those signals, isn't it? Still yeah. still standing nearly 100 years after Well, look at the size up. of them. There's, you're not going to have a job to knock them down. I mean, they're big, aren't they? And they're sturdy. Yeah. So we'll close out there. Don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to add, um, or let me know what you think of these series of videos. So we'll see you again very soon, no doubt. We'll be off out on another adventure somewhere or other. I don't know yet. So uh, from me and Jim, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye.